This is going to be a really short little video, but very, very useful. Um, we're going to talk about one of the most important metrics that there is when building a trading bot or a trading strategy or whatever it is. Whenever you're back testing and you're looking backwards, I'm going to show you exactly how to figure out whether or not that strategy that you're using has a good risk to reward ratio. Now, why is risk to reward very important? Well, obviously, if you have a lot more reward for every risk you're taking, then you're going to be profitable over time. Even if your probability of your trade coming through is 50%, you're going to be very profitable over time because the money you're making when you're right outweighs the money that you lose when you're wrong. And so many people overlook this. They get so absorbed with different indicators, etc., but they forget about risk to reward when they're placing a trade. And to me, it's probably the most fundamental thing. So when I'm backtesting all these strategies, I'm really taking into account this one very, very, very important uh, metric over here, which is the Sharpe ratio. So we're going to talk about the Sharpe ratio and, and what that is. You would have seen yesterday when I did the machine learning video and I was doing some backtesting, etc., on XLP, which is the consumer staples uh, indices, you, you would have noticed I was talking about the Sharpe ratio. And really, the Sharpe ratio, it looks at your return or your access return over, think of it like your volatility. Uh, volatility, I'm actually going to write that so people don't think I'm writing volume. So volatility. So that's what your Sharpe ratio is actually doing. So for example, the actual formula for that is going to be, you know, your expected rate. So your expected return minus whatever the risk free rate is. And I'm probably writing the wrong symbols here. I really don't care as long as you get the gist of it over the standard deviation uh, of your expected return rate. So that's really your sharp ratio calculation. In other words, let's say that I have, I don't know, an expected return of 60%. And the risk free rate is I'm going to keep the numbers easy 10%. And my standard deviation of my expected return is 10%. Then really, I could rewrite that formula very simply, I could rewrite it as 50% divided by 10%. And that should get me a sharp ratio of five, which would be extraordinarily strong. I mean, for me, what that really means is how much bang for your buck are you getting? How much bang for your buck are you getting? Because for every time I'm taking a risk using the strategy, I'm getting five times the return. Now, in reality, that five is a brilliant number. But in reality, we weren't looking at five yesterday, you know, we were looking at 0.87. Uh, we were looking at 1.27, etc. And we did find a strategy that actually gave us over one. Um, so it actually gave us 1.27 which could actually be considered acceptable. But my view is if you're going into the world of trading, really, I'm, I'm trying to get, you know, two, I'm trying to get a figure of like two plus. Now, what would be very, very dangerous is to think about, you know, the sharp ratio by itself. Um, because really, there's a lot of other things that come into account, you know, something else that comes to into account is your drawdown. So for example, you know, I could, we could take what's what's called the martingale strategy. So I'm just going to draw a nice little chart over here. But we could draw a martingale strategy, meaning that whenever you lose money, you double up on the next trade, hoping that you'll recover that money. So, you know, let's say that uh, price is going down. Uh, actually, let me just get my pen tool. So let's say price is going down. And so you're losing money. And let's say you bought over here, I'm actually going to show this chart here. So that's that's the price chart. So let's say you you bought over here. And price is going down. So instead of selling at a loss, what you do is you buy twice as much here, hoping that it'll get back to this level, plus to your target, but it doesn't. So you actually then you actually then triple. So you just keep doubling, you just keep doubling where you're at. And what can happen is with a strategy like this is your profit and loss chart, which will look like this, won't show a loss, you'll, you'll be showing no loss. And if your trades come through, you'll just be showing this straight line profit. So be very careful when someone tries to sell you a bot or anything like that, that just shows a straight line profit. What that probably means is they're not taking losses. 
And so what I'm really looking for is I'm looking for a bot that has a really good sharp ratio of say 2.0 and it actually takes losses. It, you know, you, you put up some risk, you admit when you're wrong and you get out the trade. So we're not trading options here. I'm not trading volatility, but what I am looking to do is to get something that has a good risk to reward where my drawdown is very low. You see here with the Martingale, even though there's a straight line going up in terms of profit, the reality is you have a ton of open positions that if you closed would actually put you to zero. You know, you, you, you would, you'd be out of money. So even though you've had some successful trades, what it's not showing you is what about the open trades? How far down into loss are they? So, you know, in reality, what I'm looking for is a strategy which is far more, uh, far more basic where my drawdown, for example, uh, at any given time looks like this and it's just kind of flat you know it's never going to be more than like five to ten percent and my profit and loss you know kind of looks like this that's what i want something that looks like that you know because it's a strategy is not going to make money all the time but if over time it's always profitable and it has a strong sharp ratio of 2.0 plus um, and it's got a, a drawdown which is extraordinarily low uh, you know and there's other things like p-value etc too this is really for me an ideal scenario because if the drawdown's very low this would look great and in fact in a situation like this given that volatility is pretty strong um, you know maybe in terms of your your profit and loss this can also be a reflection in your sharp ratio. So for example, if this line is fairly smooth and this line over here is fairly low and smooth, it's likely that you're going to have a very high sharp ratio. So you can really rely on the sharp ratio to tell you the story of, of what's really going on over here for most of the time. But you need to take into consideration other things like drawdown, where you can have open positions that are actually in a loss and to make sure you know, you know how, those, how those are and what the maximum percentage down those open positions are. So I hope that makes sense. This is just a short and sweet video and I'll see you guys in the next one.